Hello, hello, hello. How is everybody doing? Welcome to my page. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Michaela from Paint Fixation in Middleburg, Florida. Welcome, welcome. As you come on, please let me know that you are here so that we can uh, say hello, especially if you're new. I want to know if you're new. So tonight I'm going to be painting this urn. It's about 40 pounds solid concrete. I've had it outside for a long, gosh, my fingers are so filthy. I have been in this room paint cleaning all day up until about five minutes ago. <laughs> all right, so let me get a drink of water. And um, hi, Jason. So I'm gonna, this is got some details on it. Um, so I am going to, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to do, um, I've got some sandbar out. I've got some putty. I've also got some steel magnolia, muscadine wine, rosé, collard greens, and some um, deep woods moonshine metallics. So my, this is a very quick, hi Sherry. This is a um, very last minute thing. I'm hoping, I don't know if I have any more collard greens. Let me. I may have to change my green. I don't, like I said, this is impromptu. I'm supposed to be on here at seven, but, um, oh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Well, oh, I've got some holy guacamole. I've never used this before. I don't know. I don't really need that much green. I'm just doing the flowers. Okay. All right, hey Jackie, hey Tracy, hey guys. All right, okay, so we're gonna paint this. My idea is I'm kind of gonna bling it up a little bit. It's got a crack in it, not worried about that. So I'm thinking um, I wanna do maybe putty and sandbar with gold digger and maybe some steel magnolia. That's kind of in my head. And then maybe gold digger here and then paint the grapes, muscadine wine. We'll see. We're just going to start, and then we'll see how it goes. So this is um, not very planned. I know that I was supposed to be on here tonight, and I started cleaning this room up. I've got my room, though, all. Thank you so much, Sherry. Um, if y'all um, want to share, please do. But I got this room all organized now, so it makes me happy to be organized. But it did um, take a lot longer than I thought it was going to take. For, for such a small bedroom, you would think I could get it cleaned in no time. This sandbar is really thick. I'm going to dump it out in here. I'm using chip brushes tonight because this is a very rough surface. And I don't want to ruin any of my good brushes. So I'm going to use, um, I'm just going to use chip brushes tonight. When you come on, say hi. Hi, Diane. Hi. Hello, hello. All right. So I'm just going to start slapping some paint on, literally. So my idea is I kind of want this base to be steel magnolia and then maybe the rim in here. So the steel magnolia I'm going to do over the sandbar. So I'm just going to start slapping on paint. And this is a new chip brush, so of course I'm getting, I literally just opened it, so I'm getting um, some hairs, but that's okay. So this piece has been outside of my front porch forever. Um, it's just, <laughs> it likes to grow weeds in it, but today I was looking at it and I thought, okay, I'm going to try and paint this. Now, I paint a lot of stuff for outside. I don't ever um, seal it. Um, I have some terracotta pots that are outside. I live in Florida and um, it gets very hot here, as, all, as you probably all know. It also um, rains almost on the daily. And I have never had the paint chip, peel, fade, um, it, none of those things. Actually, I'm just kind of winging the colors 
it'll all, I'm sure that as we go, it'll come together. Now you can see it's just soaking up the paint. Now I did clean this with white lightning. Um, it does have a little bit of green on it, but um, it's not very much and it didn't come off. I'm not concerned with it because it's going to be going back outside. We just call this patina, <laughs> right? That's patina. Where's my water bottle? I'm gonna, this paint is really thick. Hang on. So I'm just gonna spritz my brush a little bit. There we go. So if you're not familiar with Dixie Belle paint, um, when you're using the paint, it makes the paint go a lot further and glide on a lot easier if you use a little bit of mister brush. This just has filtered water in it. So, um, it's just a good way, and also, if you're not using a chip brush, if you're using a synthetic brush, one of the Dixie Belle brushes or another synthetic brush, using a little bit of water can help just about eliminate brush strokes. Like this piece back here, I painted that by hand. There's no brush strokes on it. Um, I'm almost done with it. i got to do the top. I was going to do the top. I did, I did put a second coat of sealer on the top before I wax it. Um, so that's going to be getting done tomorrow. All right. So this is not changing the color a whole lot, but I'm hoping that when I put the metallics on here, I like to put something under the metallics just because they're so translucent. I don't use them a whole lot, but I do like to use them on crafts and small projects. Um, but when I get that perfect piece, <laughs> that's that's my husband. He thinks he's funny. He wants his urn back for the weeds. It had a huge weed growing out of it. I actually have, I have, this is kind of embarrassing. I have a fake tree out in my front porch. And it's fake. But I threw it out there because it was making me mad and I didn't want it in my, my house anymore. And then it just kind of stayed out there. I didn't ever <laughs> throw it out. And would you know that there are weeds growing in it? <laughs> it's like, there's no dirt in it at all. None. Okay, let's see. What was I doing? Oh, man. Okay, I'm going to do this. Okay, that's going to be putty right there. All right, I need to come back up here. This is what I get for talking and painting at the same time. So I'm just going to get this on here. I'm not really that concerned about getting it on here because I'm going to just paint right over that. And because this is a unsealed concrete, it is um, soaking up the paint. So maybe we'll just do maybe we'll just do half of it tonight over here. We'll just do one side because I think it's going to take a while to do it. I've got some artist brush brushes to do the leaves on the grapes if y'all have any questions about what i'm doing let me know and can you see hi debbie hi i have to swipe the comments to the side to see what y'all see so if, if y'all are having trouble seeing or my big fat head is getting in the way just let me know and i'll do something about it okay so we're going to just do the front half of this and then if we have time because I mean I might do this front half and hate it <laughs> and then decide okay I need to do something else so this color this is sandbar and this is going to be the base for my steel magnolia and then down here let me get my cup of water or my brushes I keep a cup of water next to me so that um my brushes don't get hard. This is putty. Okay. This is Dixie Belle putty, the one I'm getting ready to use now. Hey, Debbie. And I'm going to use it down here. And this is going to be my base. I'm thinking Gold Digger. I may change my mind if it's too um, blingy. But um, this one's, now this paint's not as thick as the other paint. Yeah, every color is different depending on the pigments that are used to get the color that it is. So you just have to keep that in mind. 
that um, if one color is thick, that doesn't mean that the next color you pick up is going to be thick. And if one, same with being thin. Same with the top coat. So your satin top coat is very, very thick. And then your flat is a very, very thin. And so is the gator hide. The gator hide is a very thin top coat. Okay. So I'm going to do that. Okay. Now I'm going to get an artist brush. I'm just getting my bases on. I just ordered some more artist brushes because these are really starting to look kind of sad. Okay, I'm going in here with the sandbar. Again, I will not be sealing, I will not be sealing this. This is going to be unsealed outside and it's going to be perfectly fine. After 30 days, your paint is, it is um, cured. I'm not worried about water coming through. Um, I did not seal my clay pots. I have not had any bubbling, no water damage at all. I know some people will seal the inside of it with a top coat or something, but um, when I have things outside, I um, don't worry about whether it's going to patina a little bit or not. Tracy asks, your five bottles, where do you order them? Blue tops and ones with yellow. My tops are yellow. And the artist brushes, I get kind of everywhere. Um, right now, Darice, D-A-R-I-C-E, is having a 50% off. They're going out of business. They're the company that, that um, they supply Michaels. And I don't think you have to have a tax ID number for them. I think anybody can order for them. I think. Don't quote me on that. I know that I don't have, I have an account with them, but I got some brushes there for half price last night. A whole stack of them. But they are, everything's going out of stock very quickly. So if you're looking for brushes, but I have, this is my stash right now, but I need some, I need some fresh ones. And so I'm just going to use the same brush and go in with my putty. And this is going to be my gold. But my brushes are getting kind of, I've had them for a very long time. I've been a retailer for almost, I guess, about three years now. But prior to that, I painted all the time. Um, I homeschooled for 20 years, so we always had crafts going on and... Um, you know, I used to, I did murals on my kids' walls. So I go through a lot of artist brushes. And I don't, so I don't spend a whole ton on them either. Um, I don't, I'm not, I'm not a professional artist. So I, I don't feel like I deserve the best brushes. I do, I do deserve the best and best brushes for my furniture, but I don't, um, I do get, I do spend a good, a good amount for my, um, my furniture brushes because they just make such a big difference in the final product. But for artist brushes, I just get, um, I usually get the synthetic ones. I don't think I have any natural bristles. I particularly like these white ones that I have. These are called fine, the fine touch. These are very nice, Tracy. Um, I've got a few of them in here. They've held their shape. And then these black ones with the, um, these are Craft Smart. These have been nice too. I've got, a, I've got a bunch of these in here too. And then of course I have some cheapies, cheapies in here. But those two um, have been pretty, uh, pretty good. And they do, they hold their, they hold, like this one's kind of fluffy. This is probably a cheap one. Cheaper, I should say. I don't, like I said, I don't spend a lot of money on them. I'm going to come in here. I know this is kind of looking kind of blah, but we're just doing our base for the bling. I kind of toyed with the idea of kind of making these shaded and stuff before. I don't know. I may not do the metallics on here um, once I get started on that. It might be a little bit too much. 
So I might just do the metallics on the base of it and then maybe do maybe do a two a couple colors. Kind of shade that a little bit. Okay. And I think I'm gonna go gold here too. But this is this kind of shows you how versatile the paint is. Um, if you if you haven't used Dixie Belle paint, I mean there's so much that you can do with it, especially with all the the, the products that we have that supplement. Never too much shine. Wendy says bronze. I I don't have. Well, I do have a little bit of bronze. I don't think I have enough bronze. Um, I've all sold out of my patinas because everybody in the world's doing it. So I had to sell my st I had to sell my back stock <laughs> for my my patinas. But I'm gonna do gold on this, and um, we'll see what it looks like. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. That's that's pretty good. All right. So this part's pretty drying. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's see. That's gonna be. St I'm gonna do steel magnolia. So bronze, okay, let me see how much I have. Oh, I have to have enough to do the whole thing, guys. I don't, I'm pretty sure I sold all of my bronze. Hang on, y'all are a bunch of troublemakers. I don't think I have enough. I gotta go to the shop tomorrow, some <laughs> bronze. Okay. This, look at my bronze lid. I might have enough in here. Okay. All right. Well, first let me put the steel magnolia on here. Oh my goodness. Okay. I already shook this up once. Oh my god. <laughs> it looks like yours. Hey, Krista. I knew we could encourage you. I'm easy. What can I say? I'm a pushover. Okay. Um, all right, so I'm going to use this brush here, and I'm just going, I'm going to, it's, this is, I don't have very much of anything. It seems like everybody's doing bling right now. I'm just stirring this, the bottom up this a little bit. Okay, so I'm going in with the Steel Magnolia. This one's probably one of the most versatile ones, I think. You can pretty much put this over anything. I'm not concerned about the, it getting on there because I'm going to be painting over that. This is covering really nicely. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you, thank you. Glad you're on tonight. I'm going to have to do something special for all of you guys who um, share from me every time y'all come on here. Maybe I'll have a, a share coupon code. A good discount. So I didn't have to probably put that on there. If I'm doing the bronze, it would cover that, I bet. I don't have any patina spray, guys. So don't be asking me to patina it. I don't have any patina spray. I sold, I had, not only did I sell all mine, I had to um, buy some from another retailer <laughs> for a customer. They need to get we need to get it back in stock. So for you guys that don't know, we're we're still waiting on um we're still waiting on lids and stuff for the patina sprays. So I'm not able to get any patina spray right now. Okay. 
So this down here looks really brown to me. Thank you. That's Savannah Mist and Black Wax, Laura. That's a custom that I'm doing. I have a huge china cabinet out in my garage that I need to start. But um, I want to spray it. But uh, it was like 118 degrees with 125% humidity today. So um, that didn't happen. So instead I came in here and organized. And I got to say, it feels good to have it organized in here. See, this looks a lot less brown. This to me, the shade, the shadow, I don't know what it looks like on camera. But down here, thank you very much, Laura. Okay, I'm just going to come up and look at, let's see. Oh, thank you, Debbie. So for the grapes, I'm thinking muscadine wine, but I don't know. She said Aubergine. I don't know. I might do a blend or shade them a little bit. I haven't decided. We're gonna, I'm going to figure it out as we go. <laughs> How's that? How's that sound? Y'all can give me your opinion. How's that? Y'all tell me. So this is really pretty. So this is kind of, it's got, this is like a champagne color. This, the Steel Magnolia, it's kind of a champagne color. It's not really silver, silver, and it's not really gold, gold. It's just kind of a, it's a nice blend of the two. And it has a really nice shimmer on it. I'll let y'all in on the secret. Let me see what she's got here. I'm actually painting this for my aunt for her birthday. I just had to make sure she wasn't on here. So I'm doing it kind of the way I know she would like it done. So how many watching have used the metallic paint? Put your hand down, Wendy. I know you have. I love stealing her. Yes, yeah, so Sherry, um, you probably saw the video I did on, I did that French linen cabinet. And so I actually did this over with chocolate. I mixed it and made a custom wax with the steel magnolia and the chocolate. It was so pretty. And I believe that that was your suggestion too. Hi, Debbie. I believe that was your suggestion. So that's what I went with. And I, and I still have that one. It has not sold yet because I will not, I'm not coming off my price because it's such a nice piece of furniture and it's solid. If it doesn't sell, I'm keeping it. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure what the hand raising is. Is that something I should know? Um, it's kind of a dunce when it comes to that, all the stuff that, well, do y'all, do y'all need something? Put your I also put your hand down. Okay, what do y'all want? What do y'all want these colors to be on here? Shoot, shoot me, because I guess it doesn't matter what I want to do. It's going to be what y'all want me to do. Tonight's all about you guys. Okay, so I'm getting the bronze. Let's see what it's going to look like. It's a very thick mess in here. Let me see what I've got. I'm going to use a little angle brush. <laughs> we, oh, you've used the paint. I'm such a ding dong. I forgot I asked. It's been a long day, guys. And I'm, I swear, I'm getting old. Okay, so now we're going to go over this. So it's mixing in with the steel magnolia, but it actually doesn't look too bad. Actually, I get it. The 
front is pretty. So I might, um, I don't know, I might want more contrast. between this and the steel magnolia. Like a, I don't know. <laughs> do we want do we want you to, what color do you want do we want you to, yes because I really honestly I think it's pretty clear now that I can't think straight tonight so I know I told you guys the other day that I was hoping to do the this, I guess that's that's the other reason why this is kind of a last minute thing I was really hoping to have that RV tonight to do the this live but um, the poor gal, she's having such a hard time getting parts. She says she's ready to move to Jamaica. <laughs> she liked it without the bronze. All right, Debbie. Who picked Steel Magnolia? Okay, I was thinking that. I was thinking T-Rose, maybe. Or, um, well, y'all are the one that made me do this, so now we're going to have to change that out. So T Rose and um, Rose, or should I try? Should I try and just put the Rose on top of that? Maybe it, I wonder if it would work. Like I said, I don't use these very often. Now, Debbie, don't say you don't don't like it. You don't know. We're not done. We're not done. Dark purple grapes. Well, I have muscadine wine. Maybe I'll mix it with the aubergine. Or is the aubergine you think is um, the right color? And then, okay, what color do y'all want the grapes? I mean, the leaves. I have colored greens and deep woods out. But I think we can all agree that can change. It's good. It's going to be pretty. Just give it a chance. I'm going to toot my own, I, my own horn. Have y'all ever seen me do something that you didn't like? I know, Wendy. Okay. That's what I'm thinking, too. So, what are we going to do? Should I try some rosé on there and see what happens? I mean, it's just paint, right? All this can be painted back over. <laughs> Which, you know, I've done. Okay, I like the boldness of the bronze, but I don't like this with it. Add it, add it, add it. Big bold look with it. You let everything in. Oh, Sherry, y'all are so sweet. Okay, so should I go with T Rose on here? Let me go grab my T Rose. Oh, I, I mean, my rose. You just think I should try rose? Let's do it. I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do this before I keep going with the bronze because I don't want to keep going and then um have to change it again. <laughs> Let me get a, net, a rag. Okay. All right. We're going to try the rosé. I need a smaller brush than that. T Rose. T Rose first. You have a wind chime. Add it, add it, add it. All right, T Rose. I've got some T Rose. Somewhere. Here she be. It's a lot more fun having y'all tell me what to do than me having to think of it. Let me tell you. Okay. 
So I'm just gonna go straight over this, okay? What do we think? So this with the rosé. The towel dry really fast. <laughs> That's right. Yes. <laughs> I know, and I've been really good, guys. I've been exercising my pool every day. Of course, now that it's getting to be fall, of course, I'm in Florida. It doesn't matter. I'll be able to be in the pool. It's not heated. It's just a above-ground pool, but my nephew was out there with me today. He was doing laps with me, or circles, I guess I should say. Okay, this is going to be pretty. Hopefully my aunt won't watch this before I give it to her. Yes, Wendy, it's a it's a above ground pool. It's one of the nicer ones. Um, it's a doughboy, but we got it for free. We just had to go get it out of the lady's yard, and um, it had a tree growing through it. There was a tree growing through it. It was completely covered in fungus. And so I kind of thought, Ugh, I don't know if I want to get this. And then I looked it up because we had a, a Walmart above ground pool. And um, I looked up as a doughboy and I looked up the, the model and all that. And it was like a $10,000 pool. I'm like, okay. I hired me some boys off of, um, oh boy, I hired me some boys off of um, Craigslist to take it out and put it back up for me, and they did. all right so we're gonna do this is gonna be um so now how am i gonna get in here without messing up i'm gonna have to get a smaller brush i'll do that in a minute What do y'all think? Yes, Laura. I know, Debbie, right? I'm sure you're wowing about the pool. That it was so we got the pool, um, we got it put up. Well, we got we paid to have it taken down from the lady's house with the big old tree in the center of the pool. And then we had we paid to have it put up. And I had to get a new pump for it. And this was like, I guess four years ago maybe i think the only other thing we had of course we had to get a liner so i think it cost about two thousand dollars for the whole kit and caboodle and i think the only thing i've had to do to it in the last four years was put a new sand um filter all right so before I go all the way down, I'm going to add some rosé to make sure we're going to like this. But I think this is going to be pretty. And I'm going to add some in here. I need a smaller brush.
making a mess. I'm going to have to do some serious touching up. But I think the main point is that we figure out what colors we're going to be painting this thing, right? It's a good thing I only decided to do half of it. Or a quarter. <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited, guys. I went premiere in my second location. Yep, yep. So, for anybody who's local, you can get the paint at Junk in the Trunk and at Antiques for You, and both of them are going to be premiere. I don't have the paint in yet for the second location, but um, everything will be available. As soon as I figure out how I'm going to stuff it all in the cabinet that I have here, but Wendy says um, I should be able to do it. <laughs> so, how many of y'all heard about Colorado's um, temperature change yesterday? A little bit of trivia. Um, it was a record high in Colorado, I think Sunday, and by 24 hours the next day, it was 101. I think that's what they said. It was 101, and 24 hours later, it was snowing. I kid you not. I almost said a bad word. I kid you not. Yeah, so Sheila, the pool that I have originally was a $10,000 pool, and I probably wouldn't have gotten the pool if I hadn't been able to find it online and I saw that and it's actually rated to go in the ground, but if I was going to put it in the ground, I might as well get a in ground pool. <laughs> okay. So this is, I'm kind of digging this. Okay. So we're going to, this is, I'm going to use my hair dryer real quick. I'm just reading the comments. Okay. So my question to y'all is this. Do I go all the way down with the pink? Or do, because I was going to, originally in my brain, I was going to do bronze. Or, well, my, I was going to do gold, but, um, so we're going to do, should I go all the way down with the pink, or should I have the bronze come down here? And while y'all are contemplating that, I'm going to put this on. Okay, Diane, you have to be more specific. <laughs> yes, should I go down, yes, go down with the pink, or, or, um. So now we're going to go, ooh. Diane, the, the comments are on a delay. <laughs> so I got two different answers. Um, and so when the comments are on a delay, so sometimes I'll say something and then the comment will come through and then I don't have any idea what it Doing a little blendy blend right there. Oh, that's not that's not my word. 
I'm blending a little bit of tea rose in with this because it was a little bit wet. I love projects like this where it doesn't matter if I make a boo-boo because every boo-boo is a happy accident. What do y'all think? Y'all like it or not? Can you do a blending technique from rosé to bronze? Okay, now, guys, I probably, yeah, we could try that. So, okay, so let's do bronze, and we'll try, and, I've never blended with the um, metallics. Is that a possible thing? We could certainly try it. I have nothing else to do tonight but take a shower and go to bed, so. If y'all aren't bored with me, we can figure this out. I kind of like the pink. It gives it a feminine jive. I don't know. Um, these metallics are going on so nicely. I think they were made for concrete. <laughs> They're really um, going on nicely. Let me check comments. Okay, so, yeah, bronze on the bottom, pink. Can you do bronze? Bronze on the bottom. I would do a small, the small ring on the bottom, bronze, but pink on the rest. You can do it. You may need a Bisti brush. Okay, so she's thinking bronze here and then pink down here. Let's see. We're going to, I'm going to attempt a blend. I'm kind of doing this messy because I've, I've still got to paint this and this, so don't fret. I know it looks like I'm slapping paint on, but, um, well, I kind of am. Okay, for those of you that are new to the Dixie Belle paint, um, these metallics don't need to be top coated. So even though I said I wasn't going to seal the piece, essentially I'm sealing the piece. So we're getting close to that bottom. I'm going to leave y'all in suspense while I try and get this. I think that's still too wet. We're going to have to touch up the bronze for sure. It'll be easier to touch up the bronze than to touch up the pink. Okay. All right, so let's go with it. We're going to go down here with the... I'm going to get a bigger brush for this. I need to go down with the um, tea rose. So I'm going to stop the tea rose right here, kind of halfway, well, I guess it kind of went too far, but this concrete is really porous, um, lots of little holes. It's so heavy, I can't even tilt it back, I'm afraid if I tilt it back, it's going to fall off of here. I'm having to be a little bit of an acrobat to see what the heck I'm doing. Let me check comments. Thank you, Linda. Oh, Bougainvillea, and I know just someone who might have one. Misting bottle brush. I have a mister. I have a misting bottle right here somewhere. Right here. Okay. All right, so, so I've never, let's see, so we're going to, we're going to put, 
bronzed. I'm going to get a fluffy brush. I'm going to mist it. And I'm going to start with the bronze. Y'all are probably having a heart attack. She's like, she's just slapping her thing on there. Get it in the broken part. <laughs> this is an experiment for sure. Okay. All right, so I'm going to leave that like that. I'm going to get a fluffy brush for, I got to go down some more t -rows. Hang on. So if any of y'all are control freaks, freaks, you're probably dying right now wanting to get over here and do this, right? Like, come on, girl. So I'm going to come here. And I might, I don't know, I might do something with that ridge. I'm not sure. While that dries a little bit, I'm going to do some more of the rosé in here. Have we decided what color the grapes are going to be? I might have missed it. Anybody? That's my daughter. Do y'all hear her? She's setting her alarm for 4 a.m., 4.30 a.m., 4.15 a.m. So she doesn't oversleep. As smart as Google is, you think that he remember that, um, hi Tammy, that's my cousin, muscadine wine. I've got muscadine wine over here. This is going to definitely need some touching up. I know this looks really messy, guys, but, um. I've got to get these cracks in here and then we'll touch it up with the bronze afterwards after this dries. Because I'll have to, after this dries, I'll, I'll wait till this is really dry and then I'll go back in really carefully with the, um, with the bronze but I do like that contrast and we didn't do let's do this really quickly so we can see what it's going to look like um, I'm using every brush I own What do you think? Wendy likes it. If you do, palmetto is a perfect base color. Palmetto for it's such a pretty green with all the gold. I am going to do the leaves in metallic. I have collard greens over here. I think, I think collard greens will work too. What do y'all think? 
I can go get the other one. It's just right around there behind me. Sorry, I'm so quiet. I can't concentrate. See, I talked and I just flipped it. Okay. It's shaping up. Hi, Yvonne. Hi, Brittany. Thank you, Sheila. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, so let me try this a little bit um, just so it doesn't pull back any of the paint. And then I'm going to get a bigger brush for my rosé. I mean, you know, I've already used 10 brushes. I might as well use another one. But I'm going to need a bigger brush to blend it. All right, here goes nothing. Getting down here. Okay, there's our wet pink. Now we're gonna get some more wet bronze. And then we're going to take, oh, I'm just gonna use this. Y'all ready? Let's see if it blends. Oh, that would be pretty sherry. All right. Kind of digging this, guys. I don't know. Can y'all see it? I'm going to bring y'all down a little bit to see. Can y'all see it? Let me, let me swipe y'all to the right just for a second. Can you see how it's, um, can y'all see in that? It actually looks really good. I like it. Thank you for the suggestion. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So let's keep going. Okay. So I'm going to leave that because I really like the way it looks just like that. And I'm going to take and dry this brush off. I'm just going to flick it down. Just I've got a couple brush strokes right here. Actually, that's not a brush stroke. That's just the plant, the pot. So I'm going to leave it. Okay, we're going to leave that. All right, so now I'm going to come in here with some collard greens. Oops. Kind of looks like baby poop. All right, I put too much in here, but that's okay. 
Thank you, guys. All right, let's see. I'm running out of my better brushes, but that's all right. I'll figure it out. These do have some detail to them, so a dry brush over the top would probably be pretty. So, Tammy, do you think I should dry brush after the metallic? Put the metallic on and then maybe do a little dry brush and see what it looks like. Um, I, I wish we had a light green gilding wax, which I have heard that one of the gilding waxes might be a light green. You know what I didn't do? I did not take a before picture of this. Why do I always, I always do that? Oh, I think I probably got, I can probably take one on the other side. That's color greens. So when I was doing some waxing the other night on a live, I was telling them, telling you guys, or some of y'all were here, how these detail, this detail painting is so relaxing to me. I wish I had more time to do this kind of painting. This is fun for me. And little projects like this, if you don't like them, they're very easy to correct because they're smaller. I think this is a stem right here. All right, so there's our base for the, um, oh no, take it, oh yeah, take a picture. I'm going to take a picture. I think I, it's got a little bit of sandbar on here, but you can't really see it. So, I'll take it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put the muscadine wine on here. Are we thinking muscadine wine with, um, do we, are we going to put, if we do muscadine, um, I could put a pearlescent glaze, the pearlescent glaze on top of the muscadine wine. Do y'all think that that's going to be too, too, um, should I add, a, I'm going to add some aubergine to that. Hang on. Kind of give it a, a little bit of a purpley red. Oops, I'm going to put a lot of it in there, apparently. Okay, so I'm just going to find a brush. <laughs> and I'm just going to... So what I've got going here, and I know y'all probably can't see this, 
is um, you can you can see I didn't mix the two colors completely. So you can see there's a little bit of um, definition to the colors because you can actually see the separation of the wine and the Aberdeen. I don't know if y'all can see, you probably can't see them on camera. So I'm just taking a little bit of each. Let me show you. I don't know if it'll, if it'll, it's too close. Anyway, so I'm just taking a little bit of each so that they're not all one solid color. Because whoever had grapes that they were all exactly the same color. And I think to make this so that I don't want to put, um, since everything's going to be uh, metallic, I think I'm going to put the pearlescent glaze over this. And that way it'll give it a shimmer without changing the color. Because I don't want to put any of this on here. Gosh, my fingers are so gross. I just said that out loud. Because <laughs> it's the truth. If they ever came out with hand transplants and insurance paid for it, I'd be first in line. And I'm not one to get surgeries if I don't need them. <laughs> but that's a surgery that I would I would be the first one to sign up. Well, maybe not the first one. I would want a bunch of other people to have it done first so I can make sure that it was going to be safe. Of course, no surgery is actually safe. Yeah, I like this. So you can see there's wine and Aubergine kind of blend. They're, it's, not, it's kind of a blend, but not really. There's... Um, little hints of both of them on each grape. Like if I was really going to be serious about this, I could make sure that their, the light source was the same, but we are not doing that. We're just playing, we're just having fun. I'm going to get in y'all's way just for a second. Ooh, I like the way this looks. So I'm just dabbing my brush into both colors, but not blending it and just dabbing it. So there's variations in the red, the muscadine with the um, aubergine. This, this is really, I like this. What do y'all think? Everybody's so quiet. All right, so we're going to leave that. And then I'm going to go in here with the, Deep woods. Okay. And I'm going to use my green brush to do it. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you, Sherry. Thank you, guys. So as soon as we get this figured out, I'll let you guys go. I don't even know what time it is. Do we know what time it is? Does y'all know? Thank you, Tammy. Thank you so much. Thank you, Linda. Okay. What I love about the deep woods is like Tammy was saying earlier, it has gold in it, so when the light hits it, it has um, a lot of variation in the color. It's not a flat metallic. It's got gold shimmers here. I'll show you all in the lid. You can see the gold shimmers in the lid. 810. Yes, I'm definitely going to let you all go here in a minute. Just make sure we have the colors right, and then I'll get off camera to finish it. I'll post pictures when I'm done.
Can we get a closer look? Yes. I'll bring you in closer. So we definitely have a lot of touching up to do in here. Um, I wish I had a flashlight to show y'all the, the, um, hi Cheryl. So let me see. It's kind of strange when you do it, when you change the light. So you can see the shimmer on the, on the pink. I'm going to swipe y'all to the side for a second so I can see. Let me see. Now you see there's tons of touch up. I have to do it here. But there's, you can see the variation in the, in the green. And then I'm going to put the pearlescent glaze on there. Let me grab it really quick. That'll be, I'll do that last. And then I'll, and then I'll finish the pot. Okay. Okay, so the pearlescent glaze is, um, it's, it's looks white, but it's clear. Okay. And I'm going to hit this with a hairdryer. So it's clear, but it has a little shimmer to it. It looks white, but it's not. So I'm going to put this on here. And as it dries, it just leaves behind the shimmer. So then I guess the whole pot, I don't, I wasn't planning on doing so much shimmer, but um, I was bullied tonight in a good way. I'm glad. I like when you guys have your opinions. I think I'm going to actually blend. I really like the way this blend looks. So I feel like I might, maybe, I think I'm going to blend this little strip up here just a little bit, just to kind of bring the colors together so it's not such a harsh definition. Okay, so I'm going to, let me swipe y'all back over. Use the gilding. I don't have gilding wax and diamond dust. Where do you get that from? Yeah, so is that better? Um, yeah, I like the pearlescent glaze. I use it a lot. So as I'm drying it, the white part is going away and it's just leaving a glimmer on top. And I think I am going to do, let me, I keep telling y'all I'm going to let you go, but um, I have ideas. So I'm going to take the mint julep and just ever so slightly it is. It's pretty. Oh, Prima has it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank you, Tammy. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to um, take Tammy Nicely's idea. I'm going to get a fine brush. That one's ruined. Right, this is a all right so I have a nice angled brush
a little more than I wanted. That's okay. What do y'all think? Oh, Sherry. <laughs> uh, okay. So, um, yeah, I think they do. Now I have to power wash my plus. <laughs> you don't have to power wash it. Okay. So, I know that Sally Joe's, they got the dime paste, but we are getting, this fall, we are getting a product called um, Mousse. And from what I have seen of it, it is, um, I'm just I'm thinning out some of these lines. I didn't want them to be quite so heavy. There we go. What do y'all think? Um, so the new mousse is a liquid, but it looks very similar to me as um, as the um, boy. This is I should have put this in the water. This is stiff. To me, it looks. That's gonna have to go in the water. To me, it looks very similar to the pick the dust that they have at um, Would You Bend after you mix it. And um, I think that the product that Dixie Bell has is going to be beautiful. Yeah, Tammy, I think it's coming in October. And from what I have seen, there's also going to be some really pretty colors in the um, gilding waxes. Y'all, these blend really nice. I, I'm shocked. Of course, I'm using, this is not the ideal brush. I mean, it's working. So that takes that, um, that harsh edge off. Um, I don't, I know Tammy, I don't know why we haven't gotten a date. It kind of makes me wonder if they're just not 100% sure when they're coming out. Um, I don't know, Yvonne, what it's called. It's, it's their stuff that's powdery, and then you put it in a top coat or something, and then it makes it into a something else. But the mousse is going to be gorgeous. That's really pretty. Thank you, Sherry, for that. Um, recommendation that looks really nice in fact I may even come in here with a smaller brush <laughs> and do some blending I wonder if I should do a do it no probably not I don't know maybe right here just a little bit just a little bit posh pigments thank you Diane that's that's what it's called posh pigments yeah I from what I have seen of um, I got to see a video of somebody using the mousse up close and um, I to me they look almost identical to the posh pigments after they've been put in whatever medium that, that they're using to put them in so I'm gonna I'm doing a wet edge here
and then I'm going to come in with a smaller fluffy brush. So it's like giving it a little bit of a shadow. I like that. What do y'all think? Okay. Yeah, I like the blend pigments, blush pigments. Okay. So, yeah, I'm liking the blend. I think that even in this area over here, Like right here. And where's my pink brush? What do I do with that? There it is. I'm like putting my brush in all the wrong colors. Now I'm just getting artsy. <laughs> I like that. Okay, so we're taking off harsh lines. Thank you, Debbie. I know it's been a long one. So we've got a harsh line. We take, we'll take away our harsh lines and blend them in. I hope y'all enjoyed this video today. Yeah, so look, see that? Can y'all see the difference? See how that's, um, this side over here is kind of a harsh line, and this now has a shadow, and then I've kind of gotten it a little bit of the, um, a little bit of the bronze up in here, and just kind of mixing it in with the, ooh, I like it. All right, so I'm going to let you guys go. I am going to finish this guy up and then I'll post pictures when I'm done. Thank you, Sherry. This was fun. I like doing it. I should do more of these kind of videos where I'm not so stressed out about what I'm doing. Um, yeah. So we'll see. I'll, I'll send pictures when I'm done. Okay. Thank you so much, Sherry. All right. You guys, thanks so much. God bless. Thank you so much. I appreciate you very much. Bye.